Hello, my name is Nasir. I would like to welcome you all to a three-part series in which we will cover Load Balancing Horizon View with Kemp. So let's get started. There are three ways to load balance Horizon View. Source IP Affinity, Multiple Port Configuration, and Multiple IP Configuration. This video will cover the first method. Looking at a typical Horizon View topology, you have an external load balancer which load balances the UAG servers, which in turn points to the virtual service of the internal load balancer load balancing the connection servers. Wow, that was a mouthful. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons of using source IP affinity. For starters, it's the easiest to configure. It uses standard port numbers and it does not require multiple public VIPs. The cons? Relying on source IP address affinity, which is not always possible. For example, if you are nodding on the firewall. Enough talking theoretical, let's get configuring. Since load balancing the connection server is super easy, let's begin there. Let's create a port 443 virtual service. This is going to be a pass-through virtual service, meaning we won't be enabling SSL acceleration. For the persistence option, we'll use source IP, with the timeout being the default. You can change this based on your organizational needs. Now let's go ahead and add our two connection servers. In the advanced properties, I'm going to go ahead and hit the add HTTP redirector. This will automatically create a port 80 redirect virtual service for us. And there you have it. We have set up a virtual service load balancing the connection servers. We need to do just one more thing before we test, and that is to grab the thumbprint. To do so, click on the view site info, go to details, scroll down to thumbprint and copy the thumbprint. Once we have our thumbprint, we'll go ahead and paste it in the Horizon View settings on the UAG. All right, now it's time to test. First, I'll test by using the web browser. And next, let's use the Horizon View client. Next, let's start configuring our external load balancer for the UAG servers. I'll be using a template for this portion of the configuration. To download the template, navigate to kemp.ax. Under Resources, navigate to Documentations. Over here, you'll find all of our deployment guides and templates. I've already downloaded the template, so I'll go ahead and import it to the load balancer. To import the template, navigate to Virtual Services, Manage Templates. Choose the template from the folder and then Add New Template. Once the template is added, navigate to Add New and put the IP address of the virtual service. Then select the template from the drop-down. As you can see, the template has made our life a bit easier. Now I'll go ahead and add the IP addresses of the UAG servers. Next, we'll select the TCP virtual services. And under Advanced Properties, use the Port Following option and select our Port 443 virtual service to follow. And there you have it. The virtual service configuration for the UAG servers is done. There's one more thing that we need to change on the UAG servers. 
So let's navigate to the UAG servers and change the blast external URL and add 8443. Time to test. There's one final thing I would like to do. Navigate to the load balancer and go to statistics and real time statistics. Here we can see all the different connections hitting the different virtual services. I hope this video was informative and thank you for watching.